Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Pera Philosophy Does. Today we are back to Planet Zoo for a video about keepers not feeding animals properly. I'm going to show you how to solve this problem and how to fix it yourself using work zones in the most efficient way, even saving some money in the process. If you need any other guides like how to earn money, how to start a zoo, making animals and guests happy, you can find them in the playlist that you can click on at the right corner of the screen right now or in the description below. Now let me show you how to fix this problem of animals not getting fed on time. For this we are going to visit one of my test zoos where I have everything set up to show you how to do this by yourself. Here you see several habitats set in a circular pattern with keepers huts and other facilities in the middle. Here you can see all the habitats and each has a keeper next to its entrance. Now what happens all the time is that even with this 100% coverage layout you have keepers not refilling animal feeders and animals going hungry which you will no doubt agree with me is totally bonkers. The problem comes from the fact that the job organization is left to the individual keeper's AI to handle. And that AI isn't very bright, it needs more hand holding than you might expect. If you leave the AI to its own devices it is going to take too long to choose which habitats to visit and which feeders to fill. This is very inefficient and problematic leading almost always to starving animals. In order to make sure that keepers do their job in a timely manner and prevent animals starving you need to use one of the available game mechanics and those are the work zones. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button below and leave a comment about your favorite animal in the game and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So, these work zones you set up by going to the management page and then to the staff section. There you can see the work zones card which is something that you cannot find using the heat maps. Here when you open up the work zones page you see the overlay of your zoo and you can see which of these buildings can be designated and which can be grouped up to specific work zones. Each new group you set up becomes a separate work zone which you can name as you see fit for easier management. A note here to remember is that buildings and habitats can be members of multiple work zones. This comes in handy when you need to set up veterinarians or cleaning personnel. Now as you can see here I have set up a work zone for each habitat and each keeper's hut. Which means that the only thing I need to do now is add a keeper to each one of those specific zones to manage it. What is cool about this option is that you can streamline and make even more efficient zoo designs because using work zones will mean that you need fewer keepers. Now I can group up some of these habitats and these keeper huts and make larger zones and fewer zones and this is still going to be very efficient. This gives me the ability to cut down on the number of personnel by 50% making more efficient zoos and making them more profitable. If you want to watch guides on how to make animals happy or make cool habitats click on any one of these videos that I'm going to link up here. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.